Today, Denton County is enforcing a stay at home executive order effective midnight, Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. We are taking this step together as the number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 continues to rise across Denton County. Sometimes you have to decide between two bad choices and I am erring on the side of saving lives. It is incumbent upon all of us to stay at home and limit our interactions with individuals now. In a measured approach, we have mandated the closure of many businesses and limited how other essential businesses operate. This evolving situation has, called, has caused hardships for many of you as well as for our local businesses. We cannot ask our businesses to bear the brunt of these actions and not do our own part. Each individual has a responsibility to stay at home and limit their actions to the necessities of getting supplies, handling medical issues, and for some, going to work to keep essential businesses in operation here in Denton County. What does this mean for you? These are some examples of what we are telling you not to do. Plan play dates at the park for the kids. Hang out with friends at the basketball court. Going to a friend's house for dinner. Hanging out with friends anywhere. Go to an in-person study group for online classes. Get together for birthdays or other celebrations. Head out to our area lakes and other outdoor venues as a group. We are asking you and mandating today that you not participate in such activities. All social events must stop, period. That alone will have the greatest impact on our county. We have essentially been asking everyone to stay at home from the very beginning. That is why we are calling this a stay at home order. The quicker we properly keep our distance, the quicker kids can return to school and our lives and businesses can continue. We have taken a staggered approach to these executive orders. As the dynamics of the COVID-19 situation continued to change, so did our response to it. Let me explain exactly what we have done. First, on March 13th, we limited gatherings to 250 people or less when we had no evidence of COVID-19 in Denton County. As the number of confirmed cases began to appear, we amended the order on March 18th. That order limited the gatherings to 50 individuals and asked restaurants to limit services to delivery, drive-in or drive-through, and closed bars, lounges, taverns, private clubs, arcades, and gyms. Schools across Denton County have closed. Stores ran out of basic supplies due to the high demand. And the first confirmed, as the first confirmed cases of community transmission developed, it was right here at our Denton State Supported Living Center. We immediately began working with our state senator, Jane Nelson, and representative Lynn Stuckey, the city of Denton, and our area hospital administrators. We want to thank all of them for their partnership and advocacy in helping us on the state-supported Living Center response efforts. As more community transmission became evident in Denton and across the county, we issued the order on March 22nd to limit gatherings to 10 or fewer and began to ask non-essential businesses to close. Now, with more than 36 confirmed cases of COVID-19, we are issuing this mandatory stay-at-home order effective at 11.59 p.m. on March the 25th. In just the past few days, major employers like Peterbilt have closed and NASCAR canceled its race planned for this weekend at the Texas Motor Speedway. As new mandates rolled out, we were giving our businesses and residents time to adjust. This is part of the process in taking a measured approach to reducing virus transmission and activities in our communities. What does a stay at home order really mean for business? If you are not listed as an essential business, 
In this order, you should either allow employees to work from home, effective midnight on Wednesday, March 25th, or cease operations temporarily until we can give you the all clear to reopen. Community spread is here in Denton County, and we know that it will continue for a while. How long, we simply do not know. Only by following these common sense measures will we reduce the potential for infection. Staying home and practicing social distancing when handling essential business could very well save your life and the life of a friend or a family member that could be susceptible to a severe case of COVID-19. It will also help to flatten the curve and the number of potentially serious infections. In this chart, there's a great illustration of outlining exactly what we are asking people to do to reduce our impacts and the surge of anticipated cases. This will help reduce our surge, which could overwhelm our Denton County hospitals and the healthcare system here in the Metroplex. Hospitals, the places that help us in our greatest hour of need, are now asking us to help them. We must ensure the health and safety of our medical professionals and first responders who are on the front lines working to give residents the services they need when they need it the most. We must all take personal responsibility to help keep our medical system functioning, to care for those in accidents who become seriously ill with other diseases and also with the COVID-19. Our shared sacrifices will help all of us get through the situation as soon as possible to ensure a brighter future for everyone across Denton County. I humbly and prayerfully seek God's hand of protection over all of Denton County, and especially our medical professionals and first responders. As the psalmist wrote, may the Lord give strength to his people, may the Lord bless his people with peace. Together, working as a team, we can get through this together. We are Denton County strong. <laughs>